everybody welcome back to my channel i got a tarantula cribs box in the mail so someone came in the mail today these nuts <laughs> i figured that we could just unbox it together i could give you guys you know my opinion on tarantula cribs i very much enjoy them as a company i support them wholeheartedly so i thought that i could take you guys through an unboxing with me just to see how they package and everything like that so first off super well bubble wrapped that's always the first thing i notice is they're very very protective of uh, their packaging what i ordered was a a small slider crib a medium slider crib and a tarantula cube i believe i got the four inch one tarantula cribs hold up wait a minute tarantula cribs is a company based out of st louis missouri i believe they started during the pandemic, whenever you're, whenever everybody went into quarantine, they decided to start keeping tarantulas. And they noticed, like most of us do, there were not a lot of options for tarantula keepers to house their tarantulas. They started making their own enclosures and you know, it took off. And I think they started as a shop on Etsy. It just took off. They're, these are very, very, very well-made enclosures. I am going to show you what I got. I need a knife. Let me see what you have. Got a knife. We are going to start with the the medium clear bottom slider. I prefer the clear bottom stuff. I think it's because it gives me full access to see everything. So right away, you can tell that it's super protective of their products. So they're always protected in styrofoam like this. Everything that I've ever gotten has been protected in styrofoam like this. This is their, their medium clear bottom slider. As you can see, it's got a sliding glass top that it, it snaps into place. It's got four strong magnets on it i can't remember the dimensions off the top of my head i think it's eight by six by six but i'll put it right here on the screen they're perfect for juveniles dwarf species which is great because i just unboxed a uh, Syria cosmos leedsy and a davis pentalurus this is what you would want to use for like an adult dwarf species more than likely if you want to give it plenty of space it's crystal clear acrylic it's beautifully well vented now this is the small slider with a clear bottom again i prefer the clear bottom stuff to me it's just more aesthetically pleasing again packaged super well so this is the small sliding top magnetic lid slider crib these are perfect for larger slings and juveniles this is six by four by four so you can pretty much house dwarf species in it larger sling in it i currently have my m balfouri i would recommend this for anything that's basically three inches and under and as you can see this one also has the uh, super super strong magnets they're always going to have four magnets on the top of them these are really good if you need to take the paper towel roll that a sling is in put it in here and then you can kind of close it and then you can poke them through this and you can pull the paper towel out and slap it shut and it works beautifully now this one this one i'm really really excited about i've wanted to try this one for a long time this one is going to be the tarantula cube is what it's called i am intending on housing my t blondie sling that i'm getting next week in this if it's not too big. If it is too big, then lucky for me, I've got small and medium to choose from. So that works out perfect for me. I don't remember what, I don't remember what any of these retail for off the top of my head. I'll put the small here, the medium here, the cube here. I've heard some people complain about the price of these. Not very many people, mind you, but a couple of people. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I'm not affiliated with Tarantula Cribs. I'm pretty sure they don't even know I exist. I just genuinely love this company and I will continue to put all of my inverts in these enclosures until all of my inverts are in these enclosures. I think I have my Grandma Stola Pulchra needs to be put in one, so I would need a large one for that. I think I need a medium one for my Scorpion and Arboreal one for my Avicularia. This is the Tarantula Cube. Now this one is a little bit different. This one actually has uh, a magnetic top on it that just pulls off like this. So it's just got a lid, it doesn't have a slider on it. But yeah, this looks like it's the 4x4x4. Four four four. Again, it's got great ventilation. 
and it's got ventilation all around the top of it also. I think that I'm going to use this for my tea blondie that I'm getting next week. I have wanted one of these for a while. I really enjoy the magnetic tops of these. They're easy to slap on. This would also be easy if you need to rehouse something in the paper towel and just, you know, stick it in. Stick it in the paper towel, kind of pull it off to the side like that and then just pull it out and then you can just push it back into place. I feel like that would work too. I think this was their very, very first design that they ever made before they transitioned into these ones. And honestly, I think they're both hits. I think they both work really, really well. That was my cat. <laughs> so this is everything that I got today. <laughs> Been having a hard time with this. That's everything we got today. If someone was to sit and ask me straight to my face, hey, I've heard of this company called Tarantula Cribs. Would you recommend them? Yes. Without a shadow of a doubt, yes, I would. I really support them as a company. Mo has been very kind to a lot of people. He's even sent me, I've ordered a sling enclosure and he sent me an extra one. He doesn't even know who I am. I, he was just being nice. And that means a lot as, a, as someone who loves this product and as someone who wants to support them as a company, it means a lot for them to realize and recognize your customers, you know, especially your repeat customers. When you're noticed like that, even if it was unintentional, when you're noticed like that, it, it makes a big difference in the experience that you have ordering from companies. Again, I'm going to put all the prices on the screen. I will leave a link to... I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that if you were on the fence about buying a tarantula curves enclosure then maybe this convinced you so i will see you guys in my next video i will 100 percent be doing some rehousings for into these i will do my tea blondie next week now that i have a medium i will probably rehouse my scorpion into it so i will see you guys next time thank you so much for watching my video if you want to follow me on instagram i will link it down below at tarantula underscore loon and i will see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>